Hi, this is Mary Beth Harrison with Dallas Native Voice, and I'm sitting here with Mortgage Mark. I don't know any other name but Mortgage Mark. That's just what it is. That's all you need to know in mortgage. You know, I have a question of the hour for you. I have a self-employed uh, borrower. Can we even get him a loan? Because, you know, self-employed people aren't the best, one, at record keeping. Two, they put so many expenses in there that it often looks like they're dirt poor when they probably aren't. So how does that even work in the loan world? Good question. So the, the normal, air quotes on normal, self-employed person will typically need two years tax returns. Okay. Uh, not always, but most of the time that's true. So and it's as like you, a normal loan. A then. normal loan, but if their expenses are just aggressive, because they, they can, by the way. They right. write off that cell phone that maybe the normal W-2 person can't. That's right. So if all those expenses end up being pretty significant where that bottom line net number doesn't fit inside the perfect little box, mm -hmm. there are programs out there now. So what's gaining a lot of popularity in the last six to 12 months are bank statement programs. So think of this, if somebody makes 10 grand a month right. in revenue, right, yes. the deposits coming in, right. that's what will be used for the income. So if you use a 12 or 24 month, you get better rates if you use a 24 month. 20 more months, of, months statements. of bank statements. Okay. And I can so show you're an showing average. constant income and, and coming in, even if it's not constant. Um, I, I know like ours is is random. You might get... We well, got the you know, summer and the winter, right? Exactly. You got seasonality to where it's the summer. People are looking to buy homes before schools. Right. You got the winter where it's, you know, a little bit... You know. And I guess you also don't mind seeing large chunks of money going in because some people get paid that way. Exactly whether right. it's on a bonus or whatever. Okay, so you're looking at my one year to two years worth of bank statements. Correct. And you're able to go off of that now. Yes, we actually would not even want the tax returns in that instance. Well, that's interesting. All right, so they can get a loan off of that. So credit, what? how does that work? What's so the credit score? You will find a lot of investors, a lot of mortgage companies will have about a 700 minimum, 7, 720. Right. There are, we, we've done loans down as far as 660 even. So wow. exceptions are there with larger down payments, you know, money in the bank, things okay. that kind of give that lender the warm and fuzzies. <laughs> right, that it's going to be okay. I'm right. not going to foreclose on this house. Yeah, this isn't the Lucy Goose, like, you know, <laughs> right. subprime meltdown days where it's zero down, no money in the bank. It, it's got to make sense. Again, right. if somebody's depositing 10 grand a month into a bank account, you'd hope there'd be some money in the bank thereafter. To pay their mortgage, right. You would think and hope. Yes. Um, so, it, it, again, it's... 700 ish would be a good good number but certainly we've done in the mid to high sixes okay great good to know so we can get our self-employed people alone which is good to know if you want any more information whether it's lending or how to buy a house or contract information you know where to find us you can get us at dallasnative.com or at any social media we go where you go thanks for listening <laughs>